All right, so now that we've covered our textures, importing and exporting the textures from if files uh, with the mod tool, now I'm going to do models. Now, I'm not going to go into Blender yet. Uh, sometimes you will download, just like the DDS files, you'll download an N2KM file. And that's just a model um, used by the game, and that's how the mod tool opens and gets rid of these things. So let's open up this cloth shorts file again. And right here. That, that's a nice pair of shorts right there. Oh, 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 yeah, those are the retro shorts. That's real sexy. That's good stuff. Now, if I want to export this model to edit in Blender, all I got to hit is the export res button. Remember, you don't want to use this export file button. We'll get to that later. That's, that's advanced stuff. You don't need to worry about it. The export res button, just click it. And you tell it where you want to export it to. Now, usually I have a directory set up in Blender so that I can easily access my stuff, but you might not need to do that. You might just be exporting it to do whatever you want to do with it. So this is number four of the list. So we're going to go four for the file name and save. And it's successful. So here we go. We got four N2KM. That is the... Uh, that's that file in the model form, and we can take that, we can import that into Blender, edit it, uh, export it in Blender, and then let's say we want to import it back into the file. So we just go into Import Res, right here, select it, open. Now here you can choose to import all the information or just the, the XYZ information. Um, the other stuff that's included um, is UV mapping, and that's... Uh, this stuff up here and it allows us to change how the texture is mapped onto that model. Um, it's important. Um, I don't really get into it very often. I do it for something with quartz, but um, you know, and that's going to be covered later in the Blender aspect. But basically importing and exporting models is very similar to importing and exporting the textures we use. So that's about it with that. Um, I guess the next one for the mod tool will be covering the export file that I've been telling you not to use. Um, it's with hex editing. It's pretty advanced stuff, so not for everybody. And I will see you there.